I, I'll never forget. I, I got there and I was going to play a few holes on Monday, and it was raining. I teed off ten, and it just was too bad. So I, I just played ten, then came back up eighteen. Kind of they run parallel to each other. Tuesday's the first time I teed off one during the tournament week. I could hardly keep the ball on the tee. I, I really believe I was more nervous Tuesday teeing off than I was Thursday. And all that tells you is how nervous I was Tuesday, because I was still nervous Thursday. Um, but you know, Tuesday I teed off, I duck hooked my drive left. Wednesday I teed off, I duck hooked my drive left. And then thank goodness I hit it down the fairway on Thursday. <laughs> so um, yeah, I was just, I was really nervous and just was kid in the candy store there in 84. And I still really am. I mean, I'm still a kid in the candy store when I go back and play there. I was two shots back in a good position to, I guess what I like to say, kind of sneak in there. Um, I'd finished Saturday's round really good. I played the last six holes three under to get back to even par, which was a big boost going into Sunday. I thought Saturday night, I thought, you know, I can win this thing. And you know, you always believe that, but like you said, they're believing going into the tournament's one thing. Everybody believes they can. Um, but then when you really feel in, feel in your heart that, you know, hey, I really do have a chance to win this thing, uh, that was, I would have to say, after Saturday's round. You know, I really think that I was just trying to get it close. That, that's all I can remember. So my thought was to hit a good, good little pitch and run up there and put some pressure back on him, put it up around the hole. And sure enough, you know, the ball went in the hole. But I, I, don't, I don't believe I was consciously thinking of chipping it in. I mean, you, all, you, know, you, you know, you always know that's a possibility. But my whole focus was to, to put the ball close to the hole and, and give myself a, a good, a very makeable par putt. Yeah, I mean, you know, the memory comes back when, you, when I see the clip again. And I see me, you know, you know, just jump through the club up. And, you know, of course, I get through and I go, Scotty, where's the club? You got the club? You know, I didn't know where the club was. And... Uh, you know, knock my hat off, and I'm just, you know, I couldn't believe it. I mean, like I said, I'm running around screaming like a madman, and finally I go, oh, Larry, let's quit yelling here. Let's just calm down. You know, people say, how did you feel? And I think, I think my, uh, my action said it all in, in the way I responded to it. That was pretty much how I felt. Jack was my childhood idol growing up, and, uh, you know, just, you know, to get the jacket from him in 87 was, was icing on the cake. I mean, to win there and then get the jacket from him was incredible. Uh, opportunities increased for me to, you know, play. You know, I played overseas some that year. You know, the demand for me in outings increased. Uh, financially, it was rewarding. Uh, and, you know, the recognition I received from it, you know, people knew how to pronounce my name now. And, and uh, you know, it was, it was tremendous. I mean, it, that, that, got, that tournament has a, uh, you know, tremendous effect on you as far as a golfer. I mean, I'm the same person I was back then, but uh, as far as golf goes, it, it is definitely a change things. And, you know, it's, I'm very thankful for it. It's been very good.